Welcome to the video on Adobe Sign Delegation, Document Visibility, and Replacing Signers. Adobe Sign offers auto delegation and signer role delegation, which bring flexibility to your signing workflows. Before we get started, I want to let you know that there are actions your admin might need to take to enable some of the features I show you today. To enable or disable role options, they will log in as an account administrator and go to Account, then Account Settings. Click Send Settings and then Allows Recipient Roles. A group or account admin can also configure auto delegation on behalf of users. To do this, log into the Adobe Sign account as an admin. Then click the Group or Account tab. Click Users. Then choose the user you want to edit. Now click Edit User Details and enter the email address of the person you want agreement requests to be delegated to. And hit Save. Great! Let's start with auto delegation. When this is enabled, a user's account automatically forwards any agreement sent to their email to a designated signing email while the user is away. It's the perfect solution, for example, when a user in your organization is out on leave or can't sign agreements. To set this up, we can log into our Adobe Sign account, then move the mouse to the profile icon. This will show a menu. All I need to do is click Profile Settings. Under Personal Preferences, click Auto Delegation. Then enter the email address of the user who will be delegated all future documents. Then click Save. And one quick note about auto delegation. If your agreement is a fill and sign in structured self sign agreements, think agreements that only include the sender as the signer, you can't use auto delegation. Now, what if you need someone to decide who the next person is to sign or approve a document? This is where the signer delegator role is helpful. Keep in mind that this doesn't replace the ad hoc option of a signer or approver to delegate their participation. Once we select the delegator role, you will see a second menu. Here, I can choose what role the delegated to party should be. By default, this is the signer role. Let's talk about another fantastic feature for your organization, limited document visibility. The limited document visibility settings, or what is sometimes referred to as LDV, allow an agreement to contain multiple files that are selectively visible to the recipients and are enabled on the account group level. A few example use cases include sales agreements that require internal oversight or approval before being sent to the customer, new hire documentation that is to be delivered after the offer letter is accepted, or HR documents that require internal processing outside of the scope of the initial signer. So what does this experience look like? Well, let me put it this way. LDV is file-based, not page-based, meaning if the recipient only has one field assigned to them on one page, the recipient can still see all the pages of the file. If the file contains no fields for the recipient, the entire file is excluded from that recipient's view. Now, there are two things I want you to keep in mind when using LDV. If there are multiple files and the recipient needs to see all of them, then at least one field must be applied to one of the pages of each file. If page level control is required, then the file must be broken up into individual files, each containing one page. Here's an example of what that looks like. Signer 1 sees both documents because they have a signature field in both documents, but Signer 2 will only see Doc 2 because they do not have an assigned field on Doc 1. And I want to point out that this also means that there must be more than one recipient and there must be more than one file added to the agreement in order to use LDV rules. So one thing I need to do is enable LDV. To do that, I go to Account, Account Settings, Global Settings, and select Signers will only see files containing signature, initials, or data entry fields assigned to them. This is the root setting that enables the LDV experience and set of controls. Once we have LDV enabled, we have access to other settings that modify the behavior of the agreement and how it is viewed. Now, what if you have a document where an email address was incorrectly entered or an intended recipient isn't available? This is where the Replace Recipient feature comes in handy. It is designed to update any recipient that has not yet completed their action for the agreement. One thing to keep in mind is that replacing a recipient can only be done by the original sender of the agreement and must be done through their Manage page. To do this, click the agreement you want to edit in the Manage tab. 
Hover the mouse over the recipient you're editing. You'll see an information bubble pop out on the left. If both options are enabled, you will see a Replace Recipient setting and an Add Alternate Recipient setting. The Replace Recipient option replaces the recipient, and they will not have further access to the agreement. If you choose Add Alternate Recipient, it will include a new recipient and leave the original recipient in place. All we need to do is enter the new email address and an optional message for the new recipient and select Add. OK, that is it. And so you're aware, in the audit report, the activity list will show the delegation from one recipient to the other. Thank you for joining me today. Now you know how to set up auto delegation, navigate document visibility, and replace signers. If you would like to learn more about settings for administrators for multi license accounts or other questions about settings and options for delegation, check out the links on this page for more information.